Hello, 大家好，我是曾雷，很长时间没见面。Hey, it's everyone's favorite Asian woman. She's back, thanks to the awesomeness of a lot of our subscribers. You guys are awesome. Today she's making fried eggs and tomato, a Chinese favorite. Cheap, delicious, good for you. What you'll need is a bunch of ingredients shown here. Below, below where the cameraman's pointing is the ingredients. Believe it or not, you're going to need some ginger, a little bit of garlic, family of tomatoes, mama, four kids, a flock of eggs, and some of this green stuff, spring onion, straight from the garden. I'm not bragging, humble brag. All right, first thing you want to do is massacre that family into cubes or just any shape. I'm not going to be checking. You can do slices if you want, but cubes is traditional. Couldn't be that traditional because tomatoes are from the new world, but fairly traditional. Okay, so once you've cubed them all up, killing the mother last so she can watch her children die, then you want to Hmm, that's a piece. That's a piece, for example. Then you want to slice the ginger into very thin strips. Now there's a word for cutting into very thin strips in cuisine talk. There's a word for it. So there you go. You learn something new every day. Next, we're gonna cut the garlic pretty small. Start by crushing it. Use the side of your knife. Our American viewers could use the butt of their rifle. You know, just whatever you have at hand. And after you've crushed it, just slice it up a bit. I personally like mine small. All right, and slice your spring onion into little, little bits. Little itty bitty bits. Wow, such realistic rendering on that knife, huh? There we go. We're going to, oh, I've started saying there we go again. I'm not gonna say it again for the rest of the video. Okay, scramble the eggs. Crack them against each other if you don't have any hard surfaces around. Like if you're in the middle of the ocean cooking this video, then get your two eggs and crack them together. You'll be able to crack them all except for the last one, which you'll have to eat bare grill style. Okay. Our chickens grew these eggs. So I'm pretty impressed. Whack in half of your spring onions and give it a bit of a mix around. Mix it pretty damned well, like so. Okay, that's pretty much all the preparation we have to do. On to the cooking. Today she's using this here rocket stove, which I made out of an old beer keg and some cement. It's inspired by the rocket stoves off of Green Shorts DIY YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. He makes pretty nice videos. Basically, it's just an L-shaped hole in some cement. Brings in the air, makes a nice fire. Okay, there we go, and there's the fire. The fuel we're using is waxed boxes, so it would be rubbish, but we're using it to cook. Nice big fire. Pretty big fire. Look at that. Add some oil. Careful not to burn yourself. Don't worry, Chinese people have plus nine fire resistance. So, she's used to it. Look at that. That's some Iron Chef Japan flame right there. Whack in your egg and scramble it. The Chinese have a wonderful way of scrambling, which I can never reproduce myself. Sort of like that, and then like that, a little bit like that. Full disclosure, we uh, refueled this fire twice during the filming of this. I didn't film that. It uses basically no fuel, especially with that waxed cardboard. Oh, look at that. Look at that scramble action. I cannot do it, and I've tried. All right, you don't have to do that for very long. When it's pretty much half done, you can just pull that off and put it on a plate or a bowl. Oh, look at that, the back of the wok. Thanks for that, yeah, good view. Put in your ginger. There's no more oil. It's not a very oily dish like a lot of Chinese dishes are. So I drink the juice at the end. Like when I finished, I drink up all that tomato-y, eggy juice. I'm not the only one, right? Add the tomatoes, mix it around. Stir fry, if you will. Look at that. This dish cooks very fast, especially on a giant flame. Cost sense. It takes minutes. Add some water. Full disclosure, she actually added a little more water than that, just a tiny bit, because you want it to have a tiny bit of sauce at the end. But you don't want it to be swimming. If you add a lot of water, it becomes a soup, and that is actually another dish, which is almost the same. 
but we don't want it to be a soup today. There we go. Look at that fire. I just keep look like I'm mesmerized by it. This is maybe a minute later. It is boiling away. And just when it starts to boil, it's pretty much done. Add in the garlic, mix it around a little bit. This rocket stove is the first component of my rocket. I plan on being on Mars a little bit before Musk in 2024. I'll put the kettle on for him when he gets there. All right, add the egg back in and stir it through. We are so close to being done now. It's not funny. It's a little bit funny. It's not that funny. Yeah, look at that. Looks pretty damn awesome. Such colors. Add some salt, very nice. Bit of smoke there. And last thing you're gonna add is the rest of those spring onions. Really, it's for color. There you go. Oh no, I said there you go that time. There you go. That's okay. It's not the same. It's completely different, in fact. That is finished. Put it on a plate. This will be one of many dishes on a Chinese table. That's how they eat. But you can just eat this by itself with some rice or some noodles. Goes great. Look at that. All right. Is she going to give it a try? No. Okay. Thanks for watching, everyone. Take it easy. Peace. Bye-bye. Sorry. Ah.